Hey everybody, I can't believe y'all failed me. Not a single one of you mentioned that I forgot to put up a weekly update last week. <laughs> Anyhow, a uh, lot of stuff happened the last couple weeks. I got very busy, completely spaced that off. Uh, gonna get to some of the big stuff in a second, but as always, gonna start off with what we read. I'm not gonna actually do these in the way that I finished them, but I'm gonna do them in the way that I rated them. So, the, I actually managed to knock out three books in the last two weeks. Uh, not that I read them from start to finish, just that uh, I wrapped them all up at the same time. Coming in last, uh, although it was better than I was expecting, was Son of Thunder by S.C. Mitchell. I only gave that three and a half stars, but considering it was a romanticy and it got above three stars, it had a little bit going for it. All of my reviews, of course, are on Goodreads. I'm no longer doing video reviews of everything. But I did give that one three and a half stars on Goodreads. I had to give it a three, but it, it got an extra half star for being better than the average one. Uh, really liked what they did with the whole Pantheon of Gods thing. Uh, mainly, fo well, Son of Thunder, mainly it's focusing on Norse gods, but it does bring the other ones into it as well. Biggest problem I had with that one, of course, is that they focus on his sexy body uh, a little too often. And, and I get it. It's it's got a, it's got romance in in the genre, but you don't have to bring it up every chapter, especially in places where that's probably not what she should be thinking about. But I digress. It was good enough though that if I find another book that S. C. Mitchell does that's just straight fantasy, I'm definitely going to give it a try. I did like the storyline. Coming in second with a four star. I know. Don't judge me. It was another romanticy, but. This one was really, really good. Mary Pearson. This is the type, this is the way I think romanticy should be done. Yes, there was the whole romance angle of it and everything else. But it wasn't forced. It wasn't shoved down your throat. It was just kind of part of the actual storyline. And it wasn't one of those things that's like from out of left field. And it's like, why are these two together? It, it, make, it makes sense in the end. Uh, Check that one out. That one's coming out. Is that one out yet? Actually, I think that comes out in November. Don't quote me on that. I think that one comes out in November. Uh, check out the Goodreads review. Um, plus, Goodreads review, I think, will tell you when this comes out. So, uh, And on Goodreads, I'm Griftkin again. So, I'm Griftkin everywhere. And then my big read of the week, uh, the last two weeks, was... Service model, I did do a video review of that because that one was a five star. If it gets a five star, it's going to get a video review. But if you don't want to watch the video review, I get it. Again, check out Goodreads. Also, I do any four and five star reviews. I put those out on Amazon as well. So that one, definitely, definitely check. Like I said, check out the, check out the review on that. I think that if you love any robots at all you're gonna love this book and if you like robots but you're getting tired of and this is not shade because i love both of these books to death but if you don't like the whole like murder bot or sea of rust where well okay murder bot's kind of a throw in because technically it's not a robot but you know what i'm saying uh but you don't want the whole sentient thing uh yet charles which is the robot in service model yeah, he spends a whole lot of his time basically underlining the fact that he feels like he feels because it's just his programming. He he doesn't think he's sentient. He doesn't, you know, he's not raging against the man. Um, but yeah, absolute five star. Love that one. No complaints here. And then what I really wanted to get into, we had a couple of... Uh, uh, let me get back to what I wanted to see. If I don't write some of this da stuff down, I forget it. Uh, the big stuff we had last couple weeks, of course, is on October 11th, which I believe would have been the last Friday, so it wouldn't, or previous Friday, so it wouldn't have technically been on the weekly review. We did have horror wrecks from horror authors. Uh, Paul Jessup joined me. Um, we had clips from Josh Mellerman when he was on. Elizabeth Hand uh, contacted me, and we had a, a quick video of that. And then I also had emails from some other authors. So that one is out there. It's a it was a live, it was a live stream, but it did have some pre-recorded parts. 
but that one was all about horror wrecks. If you're looking for something to read for Halloween, that was what that was all about. And also that included, and I will put a link in this notes as well, uh, but that included a special offer from Libro.fm. Use the affiliate link down below and you will get three credits to start instead of your normal one. If you're not familiar with Libro.fm and you like audiobooks, you're probably familiar with Audible. Same price, 15 bucks a month. Main difference is that with Libro.fm, part of your purchase price goes to a local independent bookstore of your choice. You get to pick it. They don't pick it. Um, most, as far as I know, most independent bookstores have connected with them because, again, bookstores, you know, books on CD and tape and all that stuff are kind of a thing of the past. So audiobooks, they don't really get a piece of. This one allows them to get a piece of that audiobook pie. And so you pick out a, any of the local independent bookstores that have affiliated with them. And then you can just pick that one and they automatically get a little, little piece of the profit. Other thing is, is if you ever have a problem, uh, you can contact them. You do contact them through email. Uh, but instead of getting a bunch of some robot sent this to you, uh, yeah, you get responded to by humans. And as I mentioned in the previous video about that, anytime I've ever contacted Libro, when I respond to their question, I get the same person back, the person who's already familiar with what I asked about instead of it going to whoever's available. So I'm a big fan of Libro, reached out to them, told them I was doing the horror wreck thing, asked them if there's anything they could do for us. They said, how about this? Three for one. That's good through November 30th. If you hurry, right now through, I believe, October 30th, Libro's doing a two books for one credit thing. So if my math is correct, you get three credits. You get two books for a credit. It seems like six books, six audiobooks for 15 bucks. I'm just saying it's not probably, you're probably not going to get a better deal anytime soon. My two cents. All right, moving on. Next big thing we did, and we just had this one this last week, uh, I had a wonderful conversation with John Mitten from Talking Story. If you're not following John Mitten from Talking Story, what are you doing with your life? John and his son Jacob have that channel. They are hilarious. Sometimes the wife dro uh, drops in for some stuff. They've got a book club with the missus where they discuss books that they've all read. Absolutely love those guys. I cannot match the energy that John Mitten has, and I would embarrass myself by trying. Check him out. I'll put a link for John Mitten's uh, channel down there below as well. Yeah, that was it. But, like I said, the horror wreck one, I got to talk to Elizabeth Hand. I got to talk to Paul Jessup again, who's been on a couple times. And then I got to talk to John Mitten last week. It's been a really good two weeks. I got a five-star read-in. Uh, I have got no complaints on the reading front. Other than the fact that I need more time. <laughs> but isn't it the problem we all have? So where am I at now? What am I reading? I am... Oh, let me know, Let me get the name right. I am currently listening to... Bum, 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 face ID. No, not Face ID. Let, just let me log in. It's my phone. Stupid smartphone. Uh, so right now I'm listening to The Queen by Nick Cutter, which I think comes out later this month. Uh, that one is, it's horror and I got to see where it's going. It's got a little bit of body horror if you're not into that. And it's got a little bit of insects if you're not into that, just throwing that out there. But if you like horror, uh, and you like something that's a, a little different, this one is, I'm about halfway through. I'm enjoying it. We'll, we'll see where it ends. Uh, physical book. I finally got back in, uh, started making some headway in Good Family by A.H. Kim, which was a community pick way too long ago. I do apologize. Most of you know uh, we moved recently and then to help, uh, I don't want to say facilitate that, to help alleviate <laughs> the cost of a new house, I also picked up a second job. So I just haven't had as much reading time as I used to. And of course, whenever I have an author interview or something coming up, I've, I've got stuff to do. So I've got, I've got books that take precedent. That's all I'm saying. Uh, and the wife and I are also trying to sneak in 
Agatha uh, along the way. I almost forgot the name of that. So haven't had as much reading time, but I am starting to get back into the swing of things. And I have not picked up my Kindle in a while, but I've got a bunch of stuff on there that I've got to read. But first, I'm going to try to knock out Good Family because I've owed it to you guys for a while now. What else is going on? Um, obviously, I've got some talks with a few authors to uh, have an interview. The only one that I've got set in stone right now, and it's going to be February 5th of next year. Well, obviously, of next year. February 5th of this year is over. I needed not to do this in so early in the morning, and that was almost English as well. You know what I meant. So, February 5th, don't quote me on the time. I think I want to say it's 7 p.m. Central. It's on the website, griftkin.com, because he's in California, so that's five for him. But John Evans, his book, Exedelic, is coming out in February. It's already, already been out, but it's coming out in paperback in February. So we're going to talk about that. And see what else is in the pipe. And I'm probably going to ask him about squirrels. And if you've read John Evans, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't read John Evans, come watch the video. We'll, we'll talk about squirrels. All right. Nothing else set in stone at the moment, so I'm not going to say anything. So I have got nothing big planned for next week other than reading. Knocking some stuff out. That is the plan. Oh, um... I hate doing this because I haven't decided when yet. It's either going to be tonight or tomorrow night. Off topic, off books. You can you can forward like 30 seconds if you don't care about this. Uh, I have teamed up with King's Isle, who makes the... Uh, they do Wizard 101 and Pirates 101, which, yes, those games are way too young for me, but I started playing them with my kids way back in the day. And I'm going to be doing a stream probably tonight, maybe tomorrow, over on Twitch. And we're going to be, that is going to be a charity stream. Nobody, if you watch the stream, don't sub to me. That's not what it's about. There's going to be a link in the chat when we're talking. And I might put that link down here below as well in case you can't make it. But we're pushing, we've joined with, oh my goodness, I've forgotten the name. Hold that thought. Hospital. And yeah, even a dollar. I'm not picky. I'm not. I'm not complaining, uh, and I'm not going to be one of those people that you know ask you guys for money when I'm done doing anything. I put down a hundred dollar goal. I've already thrown twenty five bucks into the pot myself. Uh, yeah, and so probably going to be playing Wizard One Hundred and One. If you don't see me on tonight, I will be on tomorrow night. I apologize. I can't make any more specific information than that, uh, and that of course is providing you see this on Friday. But just throwing out a, that out there, even if you uh, can't make the stream, like I said, if you go switch, swing by Twitch, you can click on the donate button. All of that money going over to Children's Hospital. Uh, I don't do charity stuff very often, but I've been playing Wizard 101 for years with my kids. And of course, that's a local Children's Hospital, and I, I couldn't pass this one up. All right. That covers everything. Yep, that's it. That's it. So, when something else comes up, you always know where to check everything out. Obviously, you can go by the website, griftkin.com. There you're going to see whatever the next author interview is up. That's always up on the calendar. And that also has, if you miss it here, that's also got a link down below on that page to the Libra.fm offer and also my Amazon pages. However, as always, support your local bookstore first. Amazon is a backup. That's all I got. Hope you guys have a bunch of five-star reads. Uh, I'm probably going to go see if uh, John Mitten's got anything going on and uh, maybe go over there and catch up on whatever Patrick Leo has posted lately and uh, look at all the books that I can't afford. (laughs) All right. Have a good one, guys.